In this video, I'm really excited to show you something new. How I used a photocopy on a laser printer to create a holograph with photo transfer using a magic ingredient. Stay tuned to find out. So the magic ingredient is Citrusolve and all you do is paint it on the back of the photocopy as you will see later. I would love to hear from anyone who knows of anything that works just as well. Um, please do post in the comments and I'd love to try it out. So let's start with the results, see what works best first and then I'll show you what to do. So I discovered that on the rough surface and dry paper the transfer doesn't work so well as you can see. So I decided to make another experiment with similar rough surface paper but wet paper this time and it was a bit better but as you can see still not ideal. However with smooth surface paper not wetted it was pretty good. So the texture here is, is very very important. So you can get away with smooth paper without wetting it. But then I went on to try it out with smooth paper uh, which has been pre-soaked and I think the result in this case has been the best. So I would strongly advise doing that. I use Citrusolve which you can get on Amazon. Um, I just gently brushed it on with a brush and I was sort of quite rough with brush strokes because I didn't want it to be just a sort of plain transfer I wanted it to be have a bit of texture so I used my brush strokes to to give it a bit more texture cool happy with that Wow, this is even better. That's incredible. I'm really pleased with this. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so I've been thinking about what to add to this and I really love this, so I don't really want to wreck it too much. Uh, I thought I would contrast it with some really strong shapes. So I've got this really old plate here which was made by cutting out into a board with a knife as well as adding a little bit of wallpaper detail. So I thought about cutting some shapes out of this um, plate. Uh, I really like this bit here, so I'm kind of thinking I might do something with this. So now I've got all my pieces ready, I'm just inking them up with uh, carbon black aqua intaglio ink, um, just applying the ink with a palette knife um, and then I'm just um, blotting it with some news newspaper just to get um, excess ink off and then um, using a scrim um, wiping the ink off. 
Uh, I always give it a bit of a polish at the end uh, just to get some of the detail um, onto the print. It's good to give the um, pieces wipe on uh, both um, sides so you don't get any leakage as well as on, on the edges. And once everything is ready I have uh, soaked my paper and now I'm placing um, all my Collagraph um, pieces on top and running it through the press. Um, and as you can see, uh, it works quite nicely because the image behind is sort of a little bit faded and the color graph is quite crisp. So we've got really nice contrast uh, between uh, the two images. And the next step of the print is um, I'm doing a monoprint at the top on a plastic sheet. I'm just basically rolling out a bit of red ink, sort of roughly. Um, I wanted just to have something on top of my composition, which uh, is a bold colour, um, sort of with with a little bit of detail. I'm just, as you can see, scraping here with a um, a stick, a wooden stick, um, just so 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 I can get a little bit of fine line uh, to my composition. And then with a bit of card, I'm just wiping some ink off um, so I can see that image through. I don't want it to, to be obscured completely, just um, a little bit. Um, and then, of course, once it all, oh, it's all ready, this is my pre-soaked um, print. And um, I'm just putting the monoprint on top. And... It's now, once it's secured, um, I'm going to run it for the press. This is a moment of truth. As you can see through through the plastic, you can more, more or less see what it's going to look like. And it, I think it's pretty effective. I think because the... Aqua ink I've used here is quite transparent. Uh, it's showing the image through it, which is quite cool. And for the last part, I, as you can see, I put some rolled out Aqua ink, orange and red, on the, on this um, glass plate. And all I'm doing is I'm just getting a little piece of uh, cling film and just dabbing it on uh, to get a bit of paint paint on top of the cling film. And this cling film is going to give me a really lovely effect. That I'm going to put on top of my print and um, just to add something different uh, to my composition. Uh, I really rather like this. So as you can see I've placed it on top of the, the uh, paper and I'm just running it through the press and um, I'm going to now peel it off. Um, but I, I think this is such a cool way of adding something a little bit different um, to your artwork and is super effective and you can use it uh, um, at any stage of your printmaking. Okay, so let's uh, start printing on, uh, on the second transfer, which is slightly bigger than the other image. And I am placing just bits of color graph, just like before, but I've got a sort of round piece. And these are the pieces that I cut out of that plate previously in the video. And I'm just sort of placing them around on the plate and printing it, getting, um, putting it through the press. Um, so um, again, it's with carbon black. I'm using Aqua carbon black ink and really love again the crispiness of the the color graph versus the sort of transparency photo transparency on on the paper and it's a really lovely way of of creating artwork so as you can see here 
Um, it works really nicely, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing some more monoprinting on it. And again, just like before, I've got a bit of a plastic perspex sheet and I'm adding a bit of detail, um, line, um, thin sort of lines um, on top of the uh, monoprint. Um, and I'm planning here to do two monoprints on top uh, of uh, sort of different shades of red. Uh, I've got magenta and I've got a sort of scarlet red colour. Um, I think that will work really well with the carbon black of um, the transparency as well as the colour graph. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, they are already um, to be printed. I'm just adding here um, some I've just got a glass jar and just adding some circles um just so i don't have a really blocky kind of just to break up the color i guess um and uh, again just like before i'm gonna play i'm placing them here on top uh you could reverse you could um put the image on the reverse side but i, I think it works all right so i'm not going to bother to do that it's a lot more difficult to flip it over with two monoprints anyway so um, this seems to be working fine as you will see so um, just thinking here compositionally how it will work and running it through the press and the reveal moment is about to show us what this will look like it's um, really cool i think i'm really glad that i did the sort of detail with the glass jar and um sushi um stick because it looks really nice kebab stick sorry not sushi stick so yeah it's given that really nice sort of detail uh, but it's i felt like it was lacking something there was something else that needed to be added in that big white space i felt there was just too much blank space so i did the same as i did before with my cling film that i dabbed onto rolled out ink and just added it to that get that that big white space just to complete the composition and uh, there we go the reveal moment and yeah, the, the cling film is such a fun detail. It's awesome. I think, um, I feel like I need to do a video just by, about the cling film, just to experiment with it. But yeah, the, this is it. Um, this is the print. Hope you enjoyed watching it.